But that heat advisory tonight is Niagara County with a lot of activities going on there and other places this weekend around western New York. There is some concern for people being outside. Yeah, Tony Sides Jeff Provala shows us how everyone is dealing with the conditions up there. Yeah, it was certainly a warm one out there today. We've been all over Niagara County seeing how people are dealing with the heat and it will start over in Niagara Falls. We saw a lot of people, a lot of tourists out there um, trying to do the best they could to try to stay cool. A lot of people out there with umbrellas uh, to keep the sun off of them. Probably the coolest place was actually over by the falls uh, to have the mist uh, and take advantage of the mist. Now we did check in with some of the local farms around here as well and Bittner Singer Farms tells me that the the sun, the heat is actually good for a lot of the fruit out there, peaches and cherries and apples, um, allowing the, the fruit to uh, expand. And some of the workers out here, they actually came in about an hour early so they can uh, beat the heat. And some of the workers, they were actually working closer to the lake during the afternoon hours to try to stay cool. All the workers take ice water out with them. We have an ice machine here on the farm and everybody came in at noon hour and filled up their, their containers again, their, their coolers and whatnot. So everybody's got plenty of fluid out there to stay hydrated. That's the most important thing. Now the heat was a bit of a challenge as well over at Fort Niagara. The reenactors there, they were not entirely dressed uh, with their full wardrobe because of the wool, the material that those wardrobes are made out of. Again, another sign of uh, folks up here in Niagara County trying to stay cool and uh, not do too much out in these temperatures. Now we did check in with uh, Bittner Singer Farms about drought because that has been an issue in the past. And Jim Bittner uh, tells me that at this point they are not at drought stage, at least not right now. Reporting in Appleton, Niagara County, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.